Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. So, Gemini, I'm going to pull on some general energy for you. Remember, not every message is going to resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is also timeless. So, whenever you click on the reading, that's when the messages could resonate the most. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Spirit, give me some energy for Gemini. What is the message? Energy for Gemini. What would you like for them to know? Messages for Gemini. What would you like for them to know, Spirit? What is the energy? Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And then I'm hearing actions. So somebody is being made to accept responsibility for their actions and then worry at the bottom. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So yeah. Um, I feel like this person or you, Gemini, like you're learning like the past is the past. Like, yes, you accept responsibility for what you did, but you can't go back. Um, the only thing you have control over is the present. Let's go ahead and tap in some more. Spirit, give me some more messages. For Gemini, what is the energy? What would you like for them to know? What is the energy for Gemini? Oh, rock bottom. Wow, 10. So somebody's going through a major change here, a major ending. Oh, heal the ouch. Wow, Gemini. Um, The number one, the number 10 could be significant. The number eight, the number 11. 38 could also resonate with you. Let's go ahead and tap into your energy. Oh. Give me some messages for Gemini. Why is rock bottom here? Why is rock bottom here for Gemini? What is the energy? Your cards are just flipping out all over the place, Gemini. So, like, something could just be falling apart. You can't get a grip on it. Can't get a handle on the situation. Spirit, give me some energy for rock bottom. Why is rock bottom here for Gemini? What is the message? Okay. Oh, we the devil. Capricorn energy. You have a Capricorn highly aspected. Um, something could just be toxic here. I feel like whatever the situation is, or for some of you person, I feel like you were pulling back your energy. The Hermit Virgo. You got Virgo highly aspected. I feel like something has reached its end. It's like somebody has taken a fall here. And then I'm hearing a fall from Grace. Um, give me another energy. Somebody could also have like an issue with substance misuse. Um, drinking specifically, I'm hearing. Yeah, the five of wands and in the reverse. So I feel like somebody's not able to keep up anymore. That's what this is giving me. This could be somebody not being able to keep up a certain lifestyle here, a way of thinking, a relationship. Give me an energy on the devil. But whatever this is, is unhealthy. Somebody can also have, I'm hearing coping mechanisms. So somebody can have unhealthy coping skills. Give me an energy for devil. Why is devil here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the devil here for Gemini? What is the energy? Oh, we the four of cups. I'm getting um where somebody has like a drinking problem. Like you're turning down drinks. I feel like if people ask you to go out, oh, let's go party. Let's go have fun. It's like you're saying no, you're declining. I feel like somebody just want to be by themselves at this time. 
You could also be turning away someone who is toxic. Give me another energy on the devil. You could be rejecting a Capricorn here, the Emperor, or an Aries. <laughs> You could feel like somebody you're in a relationship with is um, just very low vibrational, manipulative. I feel like with the Fool to the Four of Swords, you've been thinking about moving on for a while now. I feel like you really have been thinking about this, leaving the situation. Somebody that you're in a commitment with, you share a home with this person. But yeah, you're thinking about walking away. I feel like for some of you with this Four of Swords, you just want peace. Or this person just wants peace. Give me an energy on the emperor. Why's the emperor here? And then I'm also getting, for some of you, this is a situation where there's like a lot of conflict, a lot of drama when it comes to this relationship. And so either you or this person, like you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to argue anymore. Like somebody is done. Somebody has had it up to here. Rock bottom. Like this is it. No more. The change starts now. Give me an energy on the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Gemini? What is the message? Because I feel like whoever you're with like to blame you for things, Gemini, or you like to blame this person, somebody doesn't accept accountability for their actions. That's what this is. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Somebody does not take accountability. Somebody likes to blame other people for their misfortune, their mishaps, whatever's going wrong in their life. Tell me more about the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Gemini? What is the message? The hermit. Yeah, so you would be ghosting a situation here. Pulling back your energy. Some of you could be learning that somebody you trace, trusted, page of cups, betrayed you. This could be somebody that you have a child with. Somebody could have definitely fed you lies here, Gemini. Page of Cups to the Ten of Swords. For some of you, this is a friend. But somebody's learning about some type of betrayal here. Give me an energy on the Five of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Five of Wands in the reverse here? What is the message? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so somebody don't have money. Somebody, you know, resources are drying up. Somebody's not stable here. And it's like whatever this change is that took place, you couldn't fight against this or this person couldn't. It was just out of your hands or out of this King of Pentacles in the reverse hands. But yeah, somebody is literally hitting rock bottom. Literally. I feel like with the Seven of Cups, like this person don't know what to do, but they're trying to make plans here, Two of Wands, trying to decide which direction they want to go in, what action they need to take. Um, somebody may also have to move, relocate, downsize as well. Give me another energy on the Five of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Five of Wands in the reverse here for Gemini? What is the message? Priestess, Pisces energy. So I feel like this King of Pentacles here in the reverse had a lot of secrets. That they didn't want anyone to know about. Tell me more about this High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? What is the energy? Yeah, with the Hermit and the High Priestess here. Somebody definitely has a lot of secrets. Give me another energy. Okay. 
the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has been hiding things for a long time. But I feel like their actions are starting to catch up to them. I feel like this person is making a lot of excuses at this time. Yeah, but something's coming to an end. For some of you, this is a relationship. The yeah, judgment is being called on the situation. Death to the lovers, to judgment. Yeah. For some of you, you could be finding out that this person has somebody else that they deal with on the side here that they're giving to another person. Six of Pentacles. Give me an energy on the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? And then I'm hearing, I can't leave you alone. But I feel like somebody just wants to be left alone at this time. Somebody's sulking for some of you. I'm actually like <sighs> seeing somebody like clothes being wet, shirt being wet. So somebody could be crying a lot. Yeah. Two of Cups in reverse. So something is over. Somebody's being rejected. Gemini, this could be you. somebody you're dealing with tell me more about the four of cups why is the four of cups here what is the message justice in reverse wow so yeah this is somebody like going through a separation getting a divorce libra energy somebody no longer wants to be in a commitment with the person, you know, who they decided to build with, have a family with. Like somebody's like, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want this relationship. Something's just toxic. I feel like, Gemini, this is a situation where somebody was doing good. They were up, you know, financially stable, King of Pentacles in the upright. Everything was going great in either your life or this person's life. And as soon as you decided to get into a relationship with a particular energy or this person did things went haywire like somebody's life changed drastically for the worse because of who they decided to get into a relationship with who they decided to commit to give me an energy on the emperor another energy on the emperor please what is the message Why's the emperor here? The queen of machetes and the five of swords. So yeah, for some of you, this emperor was tied to a queen of swords energy. Gemini, this could be you, your energy. You represent the queen of swords. Or this could be another air sign. We do have Libra out here. Or Aquarius. But I feel like this is the type of energy that wanted like to win at all costs here. Somebody really wanted this emperor energy and they would do anything, say anything to get what they wanted. Um, tell me more about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? What is the message? Why is the hermit here for Gemini? What is the energy? The eight of cups so yeah somebody's ghost in a situation somebody's walking away i'm telling you it's like ever since somebody partnered up with a particular person this queen of swords or you gemini take it as it resonates somebody's life has been like crazy they've been losing a lot taking a lot of l's here give me an energy on the king of pentacles like they can see it Give me an energy on the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles here in the reverse? Hey, man, somebody feels stuck. Pisces energy. Somebody don't know what to do. I'm telling you, somebody's stability is pretty much non-existent. Somebody literally has hit rock bottom. They have lost practically everything. I'm telling you, somebody's going to have to downsize. Give me energy on the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Gemini? What is the energy? The Knight of Cups in the reverse. 
And give me another energy on this high priestess. The nine of cups. So somebody wants you to love them, Gemini. Or you want this person to love you. You can have Pisces highly aspected, but somebody wants your love and you're not giving it to them. This person is obsessed with you giving, you know, affection to them, being devoted to them, loving them. Somebody like choose me, love me. Give me an energy on the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? What is the message? The Queen of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Somebody is obsessed with you being in a relationship with them. Somebody wants you to love them. They want you to desire them and only them. For some of you, with this Queen of Wands to the High Priestess, this person is putting work on you over your finances, over your life. Somebody wants to keep you trapped here. It's kind of like, well, if you're not going to be with me, then you're not going to be with anyone else. I'm telling you, somebody, for some of you, not for all, somebody's doing work over your finances, over your stability here. So things could end. Somebody's causing a lot of endings in your life because you won't love them. You won't pick them. You won't be with them. And then I'm hearing you and only you. Somebody, that's how they feel. Somebody only wants you and they want you to only want them. Somebody is a very obsessive energy. And for some of you, this person plays in energy manipulation and they're doing things over your finances. They're also doing things to get you to love them, have emotions for them. But something's no longer working. I'm hearing backfire. Give me another energy on the Nine of Cups. Lots of nine of cups here. And where this is not energy manipulation. It's just like somebody's really trying to make your life hard on purpose. They're doing things behind the scenes. For some of you, this person is even affecting like your employment. This is somebody who's like trying to interfere with you getting a job. And then I'm hearing powers that to powers to be. If I'm saying that correctly. But it's like this person could be using connections, you know, in order to interfere with you being able to be stable. And then I'm hearing running a play. Yeah, somebody is really trying to ruin you. Powers that be. Yes. Powers that be. Yeah, somebody could literally have some connections here, but they're trying to interfere with you being able to move on from them. I'm telling you, you're not offering love to this person anymore, and she have a problem with that. She doesn't like it. No, ma'am. No, sir. Give me energy on the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The two of wands, yeah, because you're moving on and you want to be single, but somebody not having it. Because it's like you're going to leave this person in the five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody going to be left out in the cold here. Somebody also um, may be having issues with their finances. Like they know by you walking away from them, it's going to put them at a deficit. So they feel like, well... If I'm not going to have anything, you're not going to have anything either. For some of you, you could be leaving this person while they're pregnant. The Empress to the Five of Pentacles. But you're seeing that whoever you're with really don't bring anything to the table. They don't have anything to offer. But I feel like with the Two of Swords, you couldn't see this before. Like nobody could tell you anything, Gemini. It's like you thought you knew it all. You thought you were making a good decision. But you just ended up with a lot of burdens here, a lot of responsibilities, and now you're wanting to leave. But this person's trying to make things hard for you to move on. Give me an energy on 
the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? What is the energy? The chariot, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's trying to slow you down here. Cancer energy on the chariot. From moving on, I'm telling you, that's all this person is trying to do. Whether, you know, this person is using connections to affect your career, you being able to get another job or be hired. If this person is playing in energy, like whatever, you know, this person's method is, it's just to slow you down. Somebody don't want you to move on. It's like you withdrawing your love from this person, your attention, and they have a problem with that. They don't like it because somebody is obsessed with you. <laughs> That's what this is. And then I'm hearing, um, you're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Like I'm telling you, this person is obsessed. They want nobody else but you. This person could watch you all the time. For some of you, I'm hearing stalker. Yeah. Like you're this person ideal love choice. You're this person's ideal match. But it's like you don't feel the same. But it they don't care. <laughs> they just want you. They want to be able to have access to you. Give me another energy on the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Or Knight of Pentacles. The King of Cups. So I could definitely be talking to a Cancer Masculine or about a Cancer Masculine or somebody that has it highly aspected. Give me an energy on the chariot. Why is the chariot here? What is the message? The lovers. So, <laughs> wow. Gemini energy on the lovers. So, for some of you, what you're going to do is, or what you at least have planned to do, or this person does, is to move on towards another love choice. Yeah, you want to be with somebody else. You want to offer love to someone else. King of Cups, somebody who you have a lot of emotions for. I feel like for some of you, I'm hearing waiting. So you could have kept this person waiting for a long time. You definitely were slow to come in and do this. But yeah, you want to move towards somebody else. And end this cycle with this other energy, the world. But somebody's not having that. Like somebody's not going to let up easily here, Gemini. And that's why this person wants to affect your finances because he or she feel like, okay, you want to move on. You want to go towards somebody else, but I'm going to make sure that when you go towards this person, you have nothing, nothing to give to this person. Give me an energy on the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here for Gemini? Somebody could also be in the midst of a divorce because I did hear lawyers. So, yeah, somebody could be trying to take you for everything you have. Or you could be trying to take this person for everything they have um, in a divorce settlement. I'm telling you, the Six of Wands. Yeah, you feel like you'll, you know, have more success with someone else. It's like you're ready for a change because where you were, it was like a five of pentacles. There was lack there. It was toxic, the devil. This person really did not bring much to the table. For some of you, you carried the relationship on your back, especially financially. So you want some equal give and take here. You feel like you will have victory in life or this person does with another energy. That's what this is. So they want to leave this other person in the past. But with heal the ouch, like, yeah, this person's in their feelings. And they don't know how to take rejection. For some of you, this person definitely could be spilling out their emotions to family, friends. Trying to have people on their side. Trying to make you out to be the bad guy or bad woman. And then we have goblins. Yeah, this is a taker here. This is somebody that's also, you know, draining energetically.
we have five here. I feel like you went through a major change once you decided to be in a relationship or commit to this energy. Somebody literally like sucked you dry, <laughs> literally, financially, energetically. Somebody was just very draining. Give me an energy on the Eight of Cups. So blame. Yeah, this person blaming you for everything. They blame you, Gemini. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So, yeah, I feel like um, you definitely feel remorse for going towards this person, being in a relationship with this energy. Yeah, it's like you're worried about the decision that you made. But again, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So it's like, I mean, worrying, stressing out, it's not going to change anything. You just use it as a learning lesson. Or as a learning tool here and you move on. The Knight of Machetes, yeah. The Knight of Swords, you're getting out of there fast. And I feel like <laughs> you're definitely letting this person know that you're done. And you're moving on very quickly. You're not wasting any time. This is like, I tell you that I don't want to be with you today, and I'm actually leaving today. <laughs> Give me an energy on the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here for Gemini? What is the message? You have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody's trying to hold on to you, trying to stop you from leaving. But it's like, you want out of this. Mm -mm. Cause it's too much. It's a burden. I'm telling you, rock bottom. You don't hit rock bottom with this person. <laughs> you don't lost a lot. King of Pentacles in the reverse. You lost a lot. Being in this relationship, and it's like now you want to go towards somebody else. Cause it's like, uh, uh, this is not where it's at. Give me another energy on the two of wands. And I feel like you're hurt by the decision that you made or this person is. Because now you're seeing like this person just literally drained you. Goblin. Somebody like sucked you dry. Financially. So some of you have to start all the way over. But it's like there's no escaping this. It's kind of like you made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. Like, there was a choice here. So, I feel like for some of you, now that you don't chose this other energy over whoever else, um, and you see how that ended, how that turned out, I mean, uh, just nothing but losses here. Now, you want to go back towards the one you didn't choose, because now you see you'll have more success with this person. Give me another energy on... The two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Yep, the five of cups. You in regret. Yep, for the decision that you made. For the path you chose to go down. Where this other person is. Yeah, they regret this. But somebody has a lot of burdens, responsibility. Somebody also has a lot of debt. I'm also hearing car repossessed. So somebody's car could be getting repoed here. And something about someone's home. I'm hearing foreclosure. Somebody is going to have to downsize majorly. Give me an energy on the lovers. Why is the lovers here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is the lovers here? What is the energy? The three of swords. Yeah, this was a third party situation. And you didn't choose the right lover. And you're paying for it dearly. Heal the ouch. I mean, somebody's up in their emotions here. For the choice that they made. Somebody could actually be crying. And I'm hearing crying at night. You could not want anyone to see. You shed tears. Or this person doesn't. But somebody is hurt. Somebody is so hurt. But they would have never imagined. That this choice they made. Would cause so much destruction. But that's why you have to always choose wisely. Whether it's a relationship. Whether it's a job. You always have to choose wisely. Not everyone is for you. You have to discern the fruits. Let's get a final message. 
Spirit, give me a final message for Gemini. What is the energy? Yeah, you hurt this person too. Whoever you walked away from, you hurt them. For some of you, you actually could have betrayed this person, backstabbed them, did something behind the scenes. And I'm hearing with this other energy, you chose over them. So for some of you, this is just your karma. Spirit, give me a final message for Gemini. What is the energy? Give me a final message for Gemini. Oh, there's always enough koi fish spirit. So your faith is being tested here. There's always enough. So Gemini, you may have been used to living, you know, high and mighty, having, you know, access to anything you desired. But it's like now you're in a humbling season where you're literally going to have to walk by faith and not by sight. I feel like God is going to show you that he will provide. You're going to come out of this situation as a changed man or a changed woman. Somebody's going is going to go through um, an evolution here of the spirit, of the mind, of the soul. At the bottom of the deck, the number 36, the number 3, 6, or 9 could be significant. We have flamingo spirit embrace the in-between. Exactly. You may not be where you want to be, but you're not where you used to be. Even despite what you're going through, things could always be worse. Embrace the in-between. Embrace the unknown. Not knowing. Again, faith. This is a test of your faith. So Gemini, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.